All right, everybody. A little sneak peek here. Just got these in today. That's the new Mongoose, uh, I guess you call it a reissue of the 82 California Special. They went up for sale last week and just arrived today. And for good measure, and I get the Super Goose too. So a couple things to note, uh, build went well on both of them. The only thing you might want to do is uh, adjust your headset. You know, it's the old one inch threaded headset. Grease it up real good. Top and bottom, put it back together. Make sure the lash is no lash in it. Just the right amount of pressure to keep it from popping. Um, that was really it for build building it. Everything seems to spin and turn and work properly. So overall, you know, I think they really did a great job on the Super Goose. You know, all chromoly. It's like a Viscount Aero type seat. Matter of fact, in the back, it even has a little, the little box for the sticker that would went in there back in the old day, old days. So my brother and I had 83 mongoose experts. I had a blue one, he had a red one. Bought these for my son. So had many a good time on our, our classic mongooses. I think they really nailed the, the look of it. You know, the 2.215, you know, they had fatter front tires. And the 1.75 rear comp threes just as they came pro class wheels here's an 84 expert that i'm uh, restoring unfortunately it's not built yet but uh it's making its way so I'll just strip this thing down and polish it up but it's in real nice shape but you get an idea you know loop tail to loop tail I think the top tube length on the Super Goose might be a little longer than the Expert and Californians were, the 83 to 85s. But, uh, you know, you get an idea of what the sticker, you know, the old BMX products versus the BMX sticker on the front. Very, very close. And has uh, the maxi crosses on it. I'll probably stick with those or maybe try to find the old one piece of Geno crank with the snowflake and make this one as original as possible. But um, yeah, I rode both of them. I'm a big guy. I haven't rode 20s in a long time, but they ride fine. You know, old school unsealed bearings on the, on the crank. Get in there to grease them up. They feel they felt fine. You know, Dicomp MX 1000 brakes, which I recall the mongooses of that era had a knockoff. It didn't have the quick adjuster, if I recall, in the release. But that's a nice upgrade. I mean, that's pretty much what came on them. Certainly the The brake uh, lever. I think they came with Tai Chi or something. I forget. Uh, that was a knockoff of the die comp, but these came come with the reproduction MX one thousand. Go back over to California Special. Typically, these came with uh, all silver brakes back in the day. That's a Gino looking spider. You know, they would have slotted um, chain ring on them. Or the, this is more of a 82 ish. The gusset frame. And I'm not sure if that's nickeled or it looks like it's probably a painted finish, but it has a look of a satin nickel finish on it. Again, it's high tent steel. I don't think there's any chromoly on this one at all. The bars are 
painted. Nice tires on this one, even though they're not the Comp 3s, they're still nice tires. Looks like the Pro Class wheels are comparable between the California Special. These came with more of a bear trap. These came with platforms, which they originally came with SR platform pedals and natural aluminum. They're kind of, you know, those are more of a modern platform pedal, but, but close. And these, let's take off the stem here. Both have the same stem. Not quite like the SR stems they came with, but just a generic uh, natural aluminum, which is similar to what the the originals came with. They would have just a little SR stamp right over here, but um, just cast aluminum stem, gooseneck. But kind of, you know, nothing fancy. That's certainly an opportunity to upgrade a little bit if you want to put a little splash of color on it, which we may do. I got a nice one in the garage now I can put on there. Anodized red SR. But um, yeah, down to the MXC post. That's error correct for sure. So yeah, that's kind of what we got here. I think they're starting, these things are starting to get sold out a little bit. Not an expert on the gusset frame mongooses. That I'd see them running around the streets back in the day. Usually had mag wheels on them or upgraded the Skyways or something. I don't remember seeing any 82s out there that look like this. This looks more like the loop tail, the 83 loop tail, mid 83s and up to 85s. Look like this. But I could be wrong. I think what I might do on these is, you know, get the uh, slotted chain ring. I guess it's probably a 44 tooth and, you know, anodized blue for this one. Or maybe find an old power power disc for, from the Californians. Something along those lines. Maybe even put a snowflake on this one. That would be correct. And then they do make the mongoose reproduction grips with the little mongoose with the little circles, little donuts on there. Be a nice little touch to put the original mongoose grips. I have a set of red ones in the basement. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Hubs look good. Wheels were good. They're trued well. Welds look clean. It's interesting that they put that Molly sticker which is, if you look at this one, it has the same sticker. Which I didn't remember that the experts were all chromoly. I thought the front triangle was chromoly, but who knows? Who knows? Rear dropout. You see the holes. So they got the, the pertinent details right. I didn't measure the frames or anything, but I... Pretty sure the Super Goose is a little, a little larger. It fits me better, and I'm, for 20, I can ride a little more comfortably. This one's a little more cramped, but for kids, I don't think it much matters. So, if this helps you out, I can certainly recommend them. I would definitely, uh, if I had my pick of one, definitely the Super Goose, just for the full chromo. Got the old school seat guts. You, know, you got a, a good base here to work off of for, for classic BMX. The frame is, is pretty good. It's made out of the right material. You know, let me see what the weight feels like here. Yeah, I mean, not too bad with the weight in the weight department. I haven't weighed them yet. And certainly doesn't feel like a tank. Well, even the, even the California... Special 
feels about the same weight. But I think there's a good start here. I think if Mongoose uh, released those Pro Class rims, people will be interested in outfitting their old bikes with them just to get them up and running with something that looks similar. And just to get a closer look at them, that's not anodized aluminum strip in there. Looks like some sort of uh, rubberized deal. And there's not much of a polish on the wheel either. Just kind of rough, rougher aluminum. I think this is pretty similar. Yeah, they're the same. I mean, you see, you see machine marks on them. I don't remember. I mean, the Pro Steel Pro Classes were, were, were chrome. I haven't seen a Pro Class uh, aluminum wheel in a long time, so. I couldn't tell you how accurate they are, but they, they look uh, pretty decent. Get a close up of some of the the details. The welds, welds look good. A close up of the decals, so this will give you an idea. I hope that helps. All right, we're signing off.